Okay. All right. We'll take... Uh, we will play Tamiyo, and then we'll choose Manowar and Departed Deckhand. So whenever either of those creatures deal damage, combat damage, I draw a card. So if they attack uh, Tamiyo, I'm going to draw a card. So I will be okay with that. Pillar of Origins. What is this, a shapeshifter? Oh, it's anything. Wizard. This is a wizard. Looks like a wizard to me. Yep, Tamiyo. Uh, no blocks. You got it. Hey, look. That creature drew a card. That's so nice. What is up, everyone? Justin Parnell back again with more Historic Brawl. And we have a Planeswalker that is the first of its kind. The very first Bant Planeswalker. Tamiyo Field Researcher. And Tamiyo, as you'll notice, really likes to play with a bunch of really small creatures because it's plus one ability, choose up to two target creatures until your next turn. Whenever what either of those creatures deals combat damage, you draw a card. So our curve is really, really low. And it's made up of creatures that uh, either are unblockable, have flying, uh, make, make mana, have flying, are unblockable, make mana, have flying, you know, things that are really difficult for our opponent to interact with at the first part of the game, and things that make mana that also have power. Now, that's a really important distinction. So, there's no gilded goose, there's no, like, incubation druid. We need things that just naturally have power because they need to deal damage with Tamiyo's ability. Now, you'll notice over here, it's like, man, it sure seems like we have a bunch of these big old bad cards that are uh, out of place in our deck. Well, that is because Tamiyo's ultimate, minus seven, draw three cards you get an emblem with. You may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost. So our goal is to put a bunch of pressure on the board, plus Tamiyo up, ultimate Tamiyo, get an omniscience emblem, and then cast a couple of these to finish off the game. Now... Do we think this is going to happen on a regular basis? No, I think that most often we're probably just going to kill our opponent with card, card advantage and combat damage and not really get to the ultimate portion. However, however, that's what we want to do. So we got to build our deck to be prepared to do the cool thing and the thing that we want to do, which is play these big nasty things for free with our bunch of uh, one and two mana creature decks. So I'm ready to do that. Let's go make it happen. But before we get into the games... Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to keep seeing this sweet, sweet content every week. All right, a rite of passage for every new deck that I build. We're on the play against Atraxa. I mean, we're going to keep this hand, I suppose. Just cannot, cannot escape from it no matter what we do. It's, uh, she's like, she's the Thanos of the, the Arena Historic Brawl queue. Alright, uh, we'll play this Command Tower, and then we'll play Paradise Druid. This won't die, at least. We do have a Counterspell for Atraxa, notably, in Disdainful Stroke, so... We're really gonna need to hang our hat on that, so to speak. Okay. Uh, Druid of the Cowl. And River Sneak. And Tamiyo's gonna come down next turn. And hopefully... Draw us a couple of cards. Probably going to play this Tangled Floor Hedron as a land. Really don't want our opponent... Oh my god, to cast a Sweeper. But here we are. Alright. Time to rebuild. We still can cast Tamiyo next turn. And maybe we have enough time... Maybe we have enough time to draw enough cards... To get some pressure on the board so we can disdain disdainful stroke this attracts so it inevitably comes down. But that was quite the setback. Okay. Uh, two lands, so it could be next turn. I really wanted to get Tamio down before we had to fight the Atraxa battle, but it looks like that's not gonna be that's not gonna be in the cards here. Alright. We'll attack. When we untap this. We can pay two, so there's that. Come on down, Atraxa. Armored scrap forger. Okay. If I can, if I can find two mana to hold up, 
Now we're going to go ahead and pay two, just because we don't have it yet. Spectral Sailor, Suspicious Stowaway. All right. Let's attack with all of them. Since we don't have two blue mana to cast these, we'll just pass the turn. And if they don't cast Atraxa, we'll cast Spectral Sailor. Here is Atraxa. Uh, we do get to draw a card, which is great. And let's Disdainful Stroke. What can they have? Spell Pierce, an offer we can't refuse. Okay. Atraxa 1, down. All right, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to continue to draw cards. We're just gonna draw another card, see if we can find a counter spell. Okay, let's see. This is gonna be on blue. We want them to we want it to appear that we have a counter spell to make them at least think twice about Atraxa-ing. Can block and take one, which is fine. Okay. Don't have a counter spell, but you know. Maybe they think that maybe they'll think that we do. Sometimes that's good enough. I definitely have a habit of trying to play around stuff too much and then ultimately don't cast the thing I need to cast. Sometimes you just Okay, well, they're going to find out, I guess. But now they can't cast a Traxa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get Spectral Sailor. Titan of Industry. Okay. I don't have anything they can uh, blow up. I guess we probably should have played this Spectral Sailor, huh? We're going to gain five and make a Rhino. Right on. Okay. Untappy. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's draw a card. Okay. Dispel. Right on. Tamio. This has got trample. This doesn't, but I think we want to tap both of them. And if they can, if they can blink this, I'm gonna get hexproof on. Huh? Okay. Well, guess we're just gonna attack with this then. Unblockable creature. And we'll do a little loot. Like this lantern bear is gonna bite the dust. And we'll pass the turn. Tamio is gonna get uh, eaten up by this titan of industry. I hate the hope that, that this deck gives you. I think that's my least favorite thing about it. God, there, of course there's a sensor to, to counter the Tamiyo. Alright. So it goes. So it goes. Bunch of cards. Yep. Gonna be bad for us. Don't even really care what we're getting. Uh, a land, casualties of war, tails in, and a hero of dominaria, huh? Okay. No blocks. You got trample, so. Yep, we'll take the action. Put it back in our hand. Yeah, uh, Tamio again. We're going to attempt to block or tap these two. Okay, it worked. This has got Vigilance. Probably going to block with Ghostly Pilferer. We'll attack for two. It's not exciting. 
Jaspara Sentinel. Let's get rid of Invisible Stalker. Okay. We'll pass the turn. We got a couple of blockers. Relic of Legends. You got it. We're going to cast Casualties of War. I actually have a Counterspell. I mean, they can tap... I guess I, guess I don't. Because they can tap... Uh, Armored Scrap Gorger. Yeah, okay. Alright, well... Uh, we'll make an attempt on a Spell Pierce. They got the two mana. Which means that we're dead. Yep. You got it. Yeah, we'll put it in the command zone. Where it belongs, right? Alright. That's it. Good game. You've bested us. Well, we've we've uh, passed the Atraxa test. Well, by passed, I mean we lost. But uh, no more Atraxa now. Oh boy, the first sliver. Sliver creature type deck. That'll be interesting. Never, never, you never see slivers around, you know? I guess we will play this forest and then play this Avacyn's Pilgrim. We are looking at a turn three Atraxa. Atraxa, good lord, now it's in my head. We're looking at a turn three Tamiyo. And we need this to be blue, so we have white, something, green, blue, Tamiyo. And then we'll have the first sliver come to town and presumably put more sliver creature types, creatures into play. Because what else would you possibly do other than have sliver creatures as the first sliver? I can't possibly fathom what it could be. Notably, this was a really inconvenient land to draw because it didn't make blue and we have to have blue. All right. You and you, do your best. Draw me some cards. Okay, Questing Beast is nice. I like that. Okay. Not bad. Key to the Archive. All right. We're gonna get a time warp. I just assume I just assume it's always time warp. You know, just like in general. Okay. Uh same deal, you two. And we're gonna try to also ultimate Dove in here. So Draw a card, get a loyalty counter, and draw a card and get a loyalty counter. Okay. In the turn. We can make something disappear. For four. So they have one, two, three, four, five. So first liver would resolve, although first liver is just a seven seven, it doesn't have trample or anything. But it is really inconvenient. All right, let's let's cascade. Explore, explore is a okay. All right, we'll play Spectral Sailor. All right, uh, plus one on Dovin, plus one on Tamio. We'll get our two flying creatures here. We're going to go attacking with our flyers. All right. Theoretically, all we have to do is protect our Tamiyo. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty, pretty good. This going to come to play tap. That's going to come into play tap. That's going to come into play tapped. All right. Let's pay some life. Let's... 
Tap this. Tap this. And play this. And sure, we'll play this too. Alright. We have a four mana counter. Yes! Oh, and our opponent cannot handle it. They don't let us ultimate because they hate fun. But you know what? We'll have fun anyway. We're on the draw against Geist of St. Trafford. There's a card only miserable people play. But we're going to keep this. We only have one color of mana, but we got our little unblockable boys. And a sensor to get their Geist. Pretty important. Arcane Signet. Okay. Alright. We're going to try to get their Geist. So we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to play our Slither Blade. And if they don't play Geist, we're going to Cycle Sensor. For each or an equipment. That's fine. Alright. Cycle. I'd like to draw a card, please. Still didn't draw a land, huh? Okay, that's not ideal. Just gotta stop this guys from resolving. I think that it's not gonna work out, but you never know. Sort of body in mind, that also resolves. Okay, we drew a, la a tapped land. Which is not what we want. So, uh, if they get to seven mana, so they have one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to make this appear with casualty because we have to. All right. We've countered it. Now what? Shadow Sphere. Now I'm just going to play it next turn and then we're going to be not happy. Okay. But that's, uh, that's how it be. Alright. Time for Ginger Brute. Elvish Mystic. Slither Blade. Slither Blade can't be blocked. Ginger Brute is too fast to be blocked. If you can catch him, you can block him. But if you can't, you ain't blocking him. He's too good for that. Yep, there is the gust. Ah, there is a counter spell. Right on time. All right, we're gonna attack here. We're gonna draw two cards. I'm gonna play the Spara's headquarters, and then we're gonna play this Elysian Caryatid. And then we're going to lose to Geist of St. Traft. We did find a counterspell, pay unless they pay one for each creature, which would have been like three creatures. Now it's got Ward. It doesn't have Trample. Now it's got Trample. It's an 8-8 trampoly mampoly thing, and uh, there's nothing that we can do about it. We are literal... Literal can do nothing. None of our cards matter. It's all immaterial at this point. And I hate to say it like that, but gee will occurs if it isn't the truth. We draw a card. This gets plus one. It's got to attack to draw a card. Well, you know what? You're just not going to be able to catch this little man. Okay. Okay. We're going to try to fight the good fight. I think we're the good fight. Compared to Geist, we're definitely the good fight. Until we succumb. Which will probably be right now. Okay. 
All right, all right. Not good. Not what we want. It's 11 11. We could block the angel. Right? Let's block the angel. They're going to gain 11. We're going to go to 5. They're going to mill us for 10. They're going to make another wolf. They exiled some cards. They can play another land. Then they can play... Dorithra. Dorothra. Okay. Dream Trawler has been activated. If only Dream Trawler had Vigilance. That's really what we need here, is Vigilance. We need to be Vigilant. Okay. This is going to add a couple of white. Alright, Tamio. So we have one, two, three, four... When this, and this, and then we're going to attack. Can't attack with you. we got to block with that. All right, so we're going to attack here. Draw a card. Okay, we're going to play Castle Ardenvale. And then we're going to pass the turn. We're just going to see what happens. What could possibly... How can we possibly not lose? That's the question. And I don't I don't know the answer. The only thing we can block with is Ginger Brute. We can block here. We can gain some life. Uh, it's got trample, but still a little bit of life. It's not none. And then we just die. Then we die exactly. Couldn't have had an extra draw. I don't know. I don't know. No, we didn't have fun. Geist is just miserable. It's just... I know I played it recently, but it's just... Nah. It ain't it. On the draw against Gisela the Broken Blade, well... Maybe our opponent will have more luck than us. Either way, we're going to keep this despite not having green. I think we can find green, and we do have a good little unblockable creature. So, Notably, Departed Deck can't sacrifice when it becomes the target of a spell, not an ability. And we did immediately find our green source in Command Tower, so... Well, we're going to play the carry added first. All right. Elysian carry added. I'm probably actually going to play this questing beast, honestly, on our next turn. Unless they play Gisela. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Lin... Linvala? Which shuts off my carry added. Right on. Great. Nope, no attacks. Felt pretty bad. Felt pretty bad. Angel spells cost two less, huh? This cost white, white. That looks like an angel to me. Hmm. Linvala. Linvala. What is this from? Jumpstart? Yep. Okay. If you say so. Oh my. Well, uh, let's play Questing Beast. 
if they want to block with Linvala and this Angel here to take down Questing Beast, they can be my guest. Imagine they got a bunch of Angels coming. Starnheim Aspirant. So they have five mana. Which is like doubled if they're only casting Angels. There's one two mana Angel. Sarah Paragon. Okay. Can't block can't block that profitably, so Lantern Bearer, your time is not now. Notably, it's not right now, okay? This Linvala is really making life quite difficult for me. Making life quite difficult. This has got First Strike, of course. Why, why wouldn't it? Does it have Reach yet? No Reach yet. Okay. All right, let's let's do a little growing rights action. Okay, let's get the higher defense one. And a blue, so we have blue, blue, green. I guess we need another, so we realistically need more green, okay. All right, well, let's play Druid of the Cowl. No attacks, flip that over. So we got the mana. And if we have Jody, Jod Z, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, reveal a top card of your deck with a non land, you can pay it for one. And now they have a Platinum Angel. Notably, that's bad. That's bad news. Well, we're just going to take 10 here. I got to figure out what to do about this Platinum Angel. I don't really know what the answer to the question is. Okay, we'll play this for a green. And... Uh, blue and white. Departed deckhand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is eight. You can play Tamio now. Okay. Play this tapped. Let's play Tamio now. And we have one blocker. So we're going to choose Lantern Bearer and Questing Beast. Uh, put any number of lands. Then if you control eight or more, you can discard a card and then return this to your hand. Uh, well, we have seven lands, nor do we want to do that. So, all right. Uh, attacking with this Vigilance Questing Beast. Again, they can double block. I'd be okay with that. All right. We'll draw one card. Graceful Apparition. It is a flying blocker. Now, if my opponent attacks me with all of their flying creatures, I think we just lose. But I don't think that... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I think we can't I think we gotta draw cards to beat this platinum angel and uh it ain't happening. Alright. We're gonna lose exactly because we took one from this Atacar waste. That's not that's not a great feeling. Not a great feeling, I'll be honest. Uh this Linvala really Really, really stopped us from doing much of anything. And we are we are dead. Good game. We're going to take 10 exactly and uh, go about our business in the next round. 
on the play against Orvar the All Form, and we don't have any ramp, but we do have a couple of unblockable creatures, so I'll keep this. When this enters the battlefield, if it's attacking, create a, a token that's a copy of another attacking creature. Hello. Well, let's play this uh, Departed Deckhand first, so we'll play this Sun Petal Grove Tapped. All right, Ottawara and Departed Deckhand. It might be Departed, but she's still here, riding it out. Just don't target her, don't look at her. Nobody look. Nobody look directly at her, okay. Uh, probably gonna cycle this sensor. Try to draw a card for Tamiyo. Merfolk Trickster. Fine. I'll use this. I don't want this to die. This gives me another creature. And it doesn't kill it when it... Uh, because they're going to block and they're going to give make, make it lose all abilities, then block and kill it. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to bounce it back. Okay. Here's Tamiyo. We'll play the deckhand first. See if we can throw some blocks up. And again, if we don't end up doing anything, I'll just cycle this sensor. Displacer Kitten! Oh, we gotta get that. Displacer Kitten is a problem. Okay. Alright. We'll take... Uh, we will play Tamiyo, and then we'll choose... Man of War and Departed Deckhand. So whenever either of those creatures deal damage, combat damage, I draw a card. So if they attack uh, Tamiyo, I'm going to draw a card. So I will be okay with that. Pillar of Origins. What is this, a shapeshifter? Oh, it's anything. Wizard. This is a wizard. Looks like a wizard to me. Yep. Tamiyo. Uh, no blocks. You got it. Hey, look. That creature drew a card. That's so nice. Alright, now we will choose our own stuff. Choose these two. And then we're going to attack with all of our creatures, unless our opponent has something to say about it. That's cute. Yep, uh, we sacrifice it. No matter what, it just becomes the target. So this phases out. No attacks. And we're going to play Paradise Druid. And then we're going to play Swooping Lookout. And potentially we will try to team team block on this Manowar. Gilded Lotus? No. Uh, we're going to make that disappear. Because I, I don't know what you're doing. You might be copying it. Yes. Counter that Gilded Lotus all the time. I'll always do it. On the play against Balmor Battle Mage Captain, and we have a pretty solid hand here. I uh, wish this came into play untapped, but still still worth keeping. And I think we're going to play this Hinterland Harbor, because this Jaspera Sentinel needs another creature. It needs a buddy. It uses the buddy system, which is good. That's safe. But that means we got to play this uh, Leaf... Gilder first. Mox Amber. Okay. Playing the Mox Amber first as a flex. I can appreciate it. Alright, you now have a Mox Sapphire slash Ruby. Ooh. This would be a lot of damage here. Yeah, we'll take four. Get on in there. 
Oh, if only we can get to our uh, commander, ultimate, which, with our mana issues, not looking so hot. But still possible. Old Ledgy Shreddy. Wizard's Lightning on Jaspera Sentinel. It does have reach. That's fine. Discarding Strike It Rich. All right. Okay, we're, we can take two. Okay, there is another land. That's good. And, uh... I guess we need blue more than we need green. Tamiyo's likely going to die. That's the only problem here. I'd say pretty likely to die. So, Ledger Shredder is likely going to be bigger. We'll attack. We'll attack for one. Draw a card. Okay. Dream Trawler. If we can get this Dream Trawler down, I will feel much better. We got a lot of our big our big drops here. Our big boys and girls. Okay, Mentor's Guidance. They do copy it because they have a wizard. And an advisor. Does it look for advisors too? No, just wizards. Okay. Never know. Not a, it's not a Throne of Eldraine card. This is a Throne of Eldraine card. It would say copy it for each one of these you control. We dodged that one. Alright, we got a maximum altitude. This altitude is absolutely maximized. Siren Storm Tamer. Yep. There goes Tamiyo. We will draw a card for our troubles. Thanks, Damio. On your way out. Okay, there's another land. We're very, 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 very close to Dream Trawler. Okay, we'll attack. Yep, that happens. Can we... Can we get there, though? They try to if they try to tap it, we can give it hexproof. Uh, Tart creature can't block this turn. Got it. Basically, just a one mana cantrip. Renegade tactics, as you can see, this is a renegade. He's using the tactics uh, against this bad thing on. I don't know where are they Kaladesh. Okay. So they're shredding. Now, this is probably going to get countered. If it was kicked, was it kicked? Turn to our creature and opponent controls. Looks like it was kicked. All right. In that case, we're not going to sacrifice anything. We already take like nine damage, though. Which is a, a, a bucket of damage. All right, come on, land. Exotic pets. That is... Couldn't maybe the most furthest thing from lands we could possibly have. Oh, we're just dead now. All I have to do is cast one of these two spells. God, we're so close. Just needed this dream trawler. Just big, big, big flying lifelink creature. It's all that we needed. All right, we'll play our exotic pets. We'll get in there for two, just to let them know we were here. This thing's got haste too, doesn't it? Alright, looks like our pets are blocking. Can't be blocked because they're in a bubble. They can block. They cannot, they can no longer block. Uh, we're going to sacrifice the ability to block with Leaf Gilder. 
to counter Balmore's ability so we die a different way. Strike it rich. Not happening that time. Good game. And we are going to die a very deathy death. We're going to take... Ne we're going to go to negative six. We've earned every bit of it. Does our opponent have another trick? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's like negative twelve. Negative thirteen. Right on. Right on. On the play against Crucius Titan of Waves, and I got some. I got a little bit. Of, I got some small creatures. I got some some ramp. It's about what you can ask for, right? Oh, this has got flash. Can't play that yet. Gotta wait to try to get so we can get blown out by Manatithe. Just kidding. Got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Leaf Gilder. It's Gilden time. Now, I don't. Are, do you see any gold leafs? Are, the, are these the things that were gilded? Just a fair question, honestly. Alright, we're attacking for three. We're playing Drover the Mighty because we didn't draw a land to play Tamiyo. Alright, here's Crucius. About to get Crucial. Immediately got something uh, that was more ambitious. Okay. Choose you, I'm absolutely sure, and choose you. Alright. Let's draw a card. One land, please. Okay, Man, you did not you did not offer me a land. Didn't even remotely offer me a land. Kalein, the reclusive painter, has come out of hiding. Now we'll draw a card. Alright, there's the land we wanted. Would have been a great one to draw and play. We get an ambitious expedient. Okay, that's smaller. Uh, we'll play this tapped. We're gonna play QB1. All questy beastie. We'll choose this, and we'll choose Spectral Sailor. I feel like Questing Beast is about to die, but you know what? We gotta believe. And of course, now we have to discard because we didn't draw a land last turn. Unbelievable. We might keep this, uh, might keep this Jodzi. I think we're gonna get rid of these exotic pets. Uh... What are we gonna get rid of? Let's get rid of this river sneak. Bolus is Citadel. Okay. Right on. Oh, Yogmoth? That's miserable. Probably can't beat that in a million years. Oh, Mastermind's Acquisition. Great. Love it. They're at seven. Something to be said for that. Okay, so they got it in their hands. Probably a removal spell for Questing Beast, if I had to guess. We're going to find out here in about two seconds what that card was. Diamond Mare. Nice. I like that. They gained gain some of that life back. Scheming Symmetry. I don't like that. What do we want? Probably River's Rebuke. Oh no. Aetherflux Reservoir. They're getting real real low, but they're going to start gaining this life back. All right, Spectral Sailor bites the dust. Not going after my uh, creatures. Maybe they just hit land on top. That would be awesome. Yes! Oh, my God. They hit land, land. That is incredible. Oh, my God. I love it. All right, uh, on the draw against Dina Soul Steeper. A lot of unblockable creatures in this one. But we do have three colors of mana, albeit in really inconvenient lands, but we got them. 
Got to have them. That's the first step. Is actually having the lands. Having the different colors. Hopefully we draw a land that can choose, tell us which one of these needs to be played first. In our first draw step. Our opponent's on six. Um, but if we could draw like a... Something that let us play this Miss Cloak Herald. Untapped. Otherwise it's going to get real awkward. We have to play this Castle Vantress. And then Lair of the Hydra. And then Castle Ardenvale. Hateful Eidolon. Alright. Go to plan A. Hateful Eidolon's got lifelink whenever enchanted and enchanted creature dies. Draw a card for each aura you controlled that was attached to it. So, for those keeping track at home, that means they have mean auras that they're going to put on our creatures and then going to kill them and then draw those cards back. Pretty hateful. If I do say so myself. There's Dina. And we're not going to block. They're going to gain a life, which means we're going to lose a life. Okay, here's a memory lapse. Uh, yeah, let's just get this pickaxe and then attack for one unblockable with our Mist Cloak Herald. Cruelty of Gix. Okay, I get one of these creatures. That's not really the end of the world. They're all they're all a little samey. All a little bit samey. So the pickaxe is only one to equip. Whenever it deals damage, uh, that creature deals damage to a player, make a treasure token. Excellent. All right, pickaxe. You're in. I uh, let's play both of these, which means you're not going to be able to catch the brute. All right, pilferer, and pass the turn. Okay, they get to search for a card. We did leave Memory Lapse down because we wanted to attack with the Brute. Probably a mistake. Definitely a mistake. I don't even want to sugarcoat it. But, like, the board is, like, pretty even. They do good to go get their best card in the, for this situation, though, so I imagine... imagine that's going to be poor. Poor for us. I don't know what they would get. Maybe they get a Bolus of Citadel? That would be bad. Absolutely great art on these Dominaria lands that have the basic land types that come into play tap. Just absolute fantastic. Man, Magic's got so much great art. It's really what makes it an exceptional game. There's not really any other uh, TCG that can even come close. Like, regardless of what you think about the the game or the mana system or how things have changed over the years, the thing that's been consistent from the very beginning of Magic is it's just got absolute exceptional S-tier art. And that's, you know... Something to be said for that. Something to be said for that. Yeah, let's just let's just take a look and just appreciate Bruce, uh, Bernice. Absolutely beautiful haunted fire. Looks so good when it's uh, 3D as well. And they're just going to their turn. Did they time out while they were looking? Maybe they did. I'm going to play Tamiyo Field Researcher. I think I'm going to discard this Neza Hall. All right. Well, looks like our opponent... Uh, looks like our opponent timed out, so... This is going to be the last one, but now you get another one. On the draw against Kumena, Titan of Orozka. And we got a beloved princess. It's probably going to pick up this gold vein pick, so... Let's do it. She cannot be blocked by power by big creatures. So creatures with power three or greater. She's 
She can be blocked by little ones, but big ones, nah. Not big ones. All right, Deep Root Elite. There's a green. Uh, and that's going to come down tapped next turn. So, can't be blocked by car power three or greater. This has power one. Although, they wouldn't have blocked. They would not have blocked. Their Deep Root Elite is much better than our beloved princess. Even though this is from Throne of Eldraine. So, this is like... An uncommon, not a common. Alright, this gets a counter. Let's see if we can keep up with the fishes. Shoreline Scout, it's huge. Absolutely massive. Uh, you can exile a merfolk or land to get a tropical island. That's a that's pretty good. That's some clever mana fixing. I'm just choosing not to. It's okay. I can get down with that. All right. So let's let's suit up with the uh, pickaxe here. I really want to give this flying, but against my better judgment, I'm not going to. And instead, we're just going to play the Fairy Godmother. Okay. No attacks. We might be key to the archiving next turn. There's a chance of that. So she cannot be blocked by Deep Root Elite any longer. Can be blocked by these two. Cannot be blocked by Kumena. Still be blocked by these two for now. So, five uh, untapped merfolk puts a counter on each merfolk our opponent controls. Looks like they're just coming in for four. We'll say no blocks. No blocks, no blocks. Disdainful stroke right on time. That's okay. We're going to key to the archive. What is the key to the archive? I think we're going to get rid of this disdainful stroke, actually. Ooh, uh, let's get Doomblade, which is basically the same thing as Putrefy. Alright, Disdainful Stroke, you're gone. I think we're going to attack here. If they want to trade their Shoreline Scout, I think I'm okay with that. we got to adjust our strategy. It's probably going to be playing this Nezahal. You know, which they should they should be semi-equipped to do because, you know, being on uh, Ixalan and all that. All right. They're going to draw a card. So, they go attacking the Ozolith. All right. Well, that changes changes what we were going to do a little bit. Because now our Doomblade is not quite as good. Not bad, but not quite as good as it was. So this is 12 damage, which is a lot. I think we're going to not block this turn. Because I think we got more damage coming next turn. We're going to gain a little bit of life back. Mass Vandal. Fortunately, cannot get our key to the archive. That would be really bad. Uh, they don't have a creature card in their graveyard. So there's that. Okay. Let's attack... Oh no, the Mass Vandal can block the Priestess? That's not what we want at all. Now we could kill it, and then play Nezahal. Go to 10, kill this, Ozlith goes here, this is going to have 5 on it. 
And then we block, block. Yeah, we die if they have a... Um, anything. Alright, we're, we're gonna attack here. God, this mass vandal actually was kind of brutal. All right. I think we have to attack, and then we have to Doomblade this. Yeah, I don't want to. I super don't want to. Yep, Ozolith. Had one counter on it. We're gonna make a counter with the pickaxe, or a token with the pickaxe. Second main, Nezahal. This isn't gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. Uh, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna die exactly. Yeah, I think we're going to die exactly. Maybe, maybe they don't have a Merfolk. They don't have a Merfolk. We, I think we live. Uh, we can block the two biggest things. So we'll say like this and this. Okay, now, we, now we're dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they got Merfolk. They got all the Merfolk. Never didn't have the Merfolk. All right. Now we will we will bite the dust. Yep, good game. Oh, we were dead regardless whether they had one or not. Yeah, negative one. All right. Good game. Good game. Well, I gotta say, uh, this didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. Cameo, kind of hard because you really need to uh, have a lot of cheap creatures to take advantage of this. Creatures that can always, you know, get tangled in combat, but those creatures are at a premium to kill, and Planeswalkers are just difficult to keep around. If you're attacking, you know, you're not you're not able to defend Tamio, so maybe uh, the answer is having a, like, low power but not no power and high toughness creatures to try to just defend Tamiyo. I think that's a different angle. That's a different angle that I would definitely try this deck again with because I like the concept of, like, being able to protect a Planeswalker and ultimating it. That, that's just a lot of fun. A lot of, that's that's fun gameplay. That's why, we're, that's why we're playing Planeswalkers a lot of the time is because it's got a really cool end game trigger that you can do all right i was able to pull this off and had this awesome moment and we didn't get to do that we didn't get to do that and i think the hyper aggression i mean clearly did not work you know uh didn't remotely work we got a, a few wins but primarily we we just got kind of run over by people that had higher card quality than we did you know not a, not really a surprise with with what we were working with so i always like to try to make the thing happen, whatever the thing is, and sometimes that means selling out some of the better cards to play worse ones, to try to do the coolest thing. Because I think for content, I think that's more fun. That's more fun for me. It's more fun for all of you to watch. You know, I could, I could probably put a deck together that's like a commander. If it's three colors, great. 20 staples of each of those colors. Uh you know, 36 lands, and then I'm picking, like, five cards that I want to play, and I bet I could I could win a lot of matches if I did that. But that's that's never what I want to do, so... Either way, uh, Tamiyo's a good card. I feel bad that I wasn't able to show it to its full potential, but, you know, I always want to show... I want to show the reality of stuff, because I don't want to lead people astray if you're spending wild cards or whatnot to say... Oh yeah, I can just make this deck that Justin played. He only showed me these five games uh, that went really well, and then I played it, and I played 15 games and only won a handful of them. So I always just want to be honest with with the decks that I'm playing and what I'm showing you. So anyway, 
That's Tamio. Thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video today. Of course, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any other historic brawl, cube, gladiator, commander content, all the best singleton formats that Magic has to offer. If you want to follow me on social media and check out what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube, you can do that right down here. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm Justin Parnell, and I'll catch you next time.